Dear friends, hello and welcome today to a beautiful demonstration of the Army. And we are with Lieutenant Alexis. Hello, Lieutenant Alexis, 12th Regiment of Curaciers. Hello, Lieutenant, you are in charge of a nice toy? Yes, absolutely. One, I'm a platoon leader, so one have the joy of commanding four Leclerc tanks. And at the same time, one myself, I'm a tank commander on a daily basis. Excellent, let's take a tour. Let's go, we're off. I'm following you. Before we continue, one want to inform you that this video is sponsored, which allows us to have a second camera, but also a great editing. Today's sponsor is Conflict of Nations. Conflict of Nations is a free, real-time player versus player strategy game. Ushuaia is a country that can lead during a 21st century global conflict, with the ability to equip many units to form an army. Tanks, fighters, bombers and various ships Battle up to 128 players simultaneously in games lasting weeks with the ability to form alliances and declare war. To your neighbors, prepare your armies for epic battles and set out to conquer the world with a really great point, which, from a point of view, is real time and interaction with other real players. You can play on the same account on PC and mobile. Click the link in this video's description for an exclusive gift of 13,000 gold coins and one month of free premium. So don't waste time because the offer is only available for 30 days. Uh, my lieutenant, we have something more powerful in the army. Oh no, for direct fire in the ground army, we have nothing more powerful. The Caesar is larger at 6.1 inches caliber, while this one is 4.72 inches. But on the other hand, it's curved shooting. We have straight shots up to 4,000 meters. That's what one was going to ask you, four kilometers with different types of shells. Exactly, absolutely. The four kilometers, that's the arrow shells. So if you want one, we'll show them to you. Arrow shells, four kilometers, that's the maximum distance. So you have here the hollow charge shell and here the arrow shell. Okay, so they are both made to pierce different types of armor. Exactly, this is really a tank against tank. Here it's going to be more armored vehicles, but lightened. Uh, this is really for the enemy tank. There is an automatic loader inside, exactly. We would show you that later. One half. I've already opened the window, it's good, extraordinary. So, automatic loader. We have up to 22 shells that we load inside. Loading the shell enables the tank to automatically recognize it. This way it allows us, once in position, to select the shell according to the incoming enemy and thus to be able to destroy the enemy with the right ammunition directly. Where are the windows to look outside? Well, the windows, they're very, very light. So, here you see at the level of the NF1 just below, you have small windows, here or there, the periscopes for the pilot. How many people are inside? We are three. You have the pilot who is in the chassis. As the loadmaster and platoon leader 1M positioned on the left in the turret. And my shooter is on the other side of the turret. We are both separated by the cannon. You can see that there are a lot of optics and sensors on top. Especially when we were on the other side, we could see it. So this box that is there. So this, this is my chief site. With this one, I'm fully autonomous in observation. What you need to know is that this site is autonomous from the turret. So the turret can be to the right. One can do 360 with the turret without any problem with my site. One have my own thermal camera inside as well. Where is it actually? In fact, everything is inside. And there, that's the site of the drawer. So the site of the drawer, you have the same day and night optics integrated, which allows us to have a completely autonomous day and night observation. And that's it. And there we have, so it's teleoperated. Or does someone have to go out? No, there, someone has to go out in the, uh, in the renovated Charles Leclerc. So precisely, we will have a turret above, which will allow us to be completely teleoperated. So to be able to use Weaponry inside the XLR, that's right, absolutely. There we see some boxes, one suppose that... You have hidden something. So there you have it. For now, these are the boxes that are in use. However, we have reactive armor. The charges are placed directly inside the tank. So it's not apparent from the outside, but everything is placed inside. Uh, we can just recall the reactive armors. Uh, it's basically when there is a rocket propelled grenade coming, instead of just having a solid armor, it's going to re-explode in the other direction to clear the charge. Exactly, like that, the armor will not be pierced. It will really be on the outside. From the moment it's on the outside or inside, we don't realize it. 
you still hear the noise. There's the noise, blast and recoil, but inside we're just, we're just a little shaken without any wounds or anything at all. Mass, what weight he really makes for the fight, 57 tons, to transport 57 tons. It's a 1500 horsepower engine. Impressive. One had heard at the time that it was one of the first tanks that was capable of firing while moving. Yes, absolutely. It's always that, it's stabilized. There you have it. It's a firing control that allows us to fire while moving or to fire at the moving target. So for us, it's going to have a stabilization with the consideration of the turret that's going to help us. So it's not completely automatic, it's semi-automatic. It's the shooter who will rally on the target, but a good shooter will rally very quickly on the target and take into account very quickly. How many Leclerc tanks do we have in the army? We have 220. So that makes a group. How many is that? So here, for example, one MA platoon leader, one work with four Leclerc tanks and four light armored vehicles. So a squadron, we are on 16 Leclerc tanks and so on. So we have four tank regiments in France. So with each three tank squadrons. Excellent. Are we allowed to see the inside? Yes, of course, I'll follow you. Go ahead, Doc. We won't be able to see the station because you see the turret. In fact, to access the station, it's all noon. Yes, there we are slightly offset. One was taking you to my station, so the station of the head of. Charles has here another entrance for those who are wondering, so the address is needed. Absolutely noon, it means. No, it's true. It's the reflexes. Go ahead and play bumping into each other. Friends, one, I'm happy to continue doing sports. Can one give you this? Yeah, sure you realize it. So the, you see the bishops one, in fact, we really see at 361 have eyepieces. So this is precisely the vision of the chief site, which takes into account my own optics. So there, when I'm going to look through this optics there, I'm going to see through the chief site. And how do you turn it to the right, to the left? So you have rudders. Okay, one understand, one pull on. That's it, that's it. And so that's what allows the site to rotate. Uh, the site, the site that is here, and why are the sites different then? We'll see if... If you close one eye, you will realize that there is one. We look with one eye, and the second is there. We have information that can overlap either the distance or the shell that is currently in the tank. Uh, yes, so friends, one, I'm sorry, but uh, one have the impression that one can't focus. Ah, yes, that's it. We don't see. So there are friends. You see what we see in the little eyepiece and in the other, it's in this information. But suddenly as it is not launched, the tank is not launched. We have nothing. And well, it's not that uncomfortable. No, no. When we're inside, it's good. There it is. We're a bit shaken, but, but we're there. The seat is not cushioned like in trucks. Quite right. You also have one seat, the burst weapons. That is to say that you can also still pass a certain number of information or designate certain. Of course, yeah, yeah. So everything is done. The advantage of the locker is that everything is electric. So for example, here, rearmed shot by shot, it's for the 12.7. And if you want for the tank for the 120 shells is here. So on the bottom right, you see one can select the ammunition that one would have put in the magazine before. And uh, then one can use the smoke grenades, the decoys, if one ever need them. So one have direct access myself to the 12.7 machine gun you see at the level of your hand there, which is here. So it's completely electric. But one didn't see the 12.7 machine gun outside. It's in line. It's just next to the cannon. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. So you can double up, but how do you aim to designate the targets? Exactly the same. And however, it's when we're going to press the fire 12.7, it's going to automatically take into account that it's with the machine gun that we're shooting. And there you go, it's long. And so just on your right. So you have the protection, of course. But it's the artillery we might see a little better. What did they do there? Shoot that. It's the cannon. That's the cannon that's completely behind everything. Yes, indeed, we see the, we see the, there is prolongation here that continues up there. You have a noise canceling helmet, something. So we have a normal helmet. We are in overpressure inside the tank. In the middle of the game, not to have the gas is due to the shot, but it also protects us from the outside noise. Being in overpressure means protection, even in case of a chemical attack, one suppose. Stays inside us. Our real safety is in the tank when we are really at the closed stage. That's where we are. We are the safest. 
So we will move on to the Scorpion program. Yes, in uh, in terms of radio and especially what will change for me, it will be the armament. So one will have a 12.7 that will be directly under my command. So there, the 12.7, it is affiliated with the uh, Canon, yes, with the renovated 40. If the Canon is on the right, one could handle a group of infantry on the left with a 7 or 62 Canon without a problem. Regarding sensors and antennas, one understood other elements were expected to arrive. So we are definitely going to improve the range. We are going to improve. Also the shielding and the sensors are one haven't had yet because one have friends at Thales. That's why, that's why that's it. But there you go. Okay. We're going to improve the vision as well. So optics, but, but the sensors that, and there's also the GPS that's going to absolutely the GPS that's going to be taken into account right now. We have an inertial unit that allows us to be completely autonomous in our movement without GPS, which is in the chat now for more precision and with the evolution also Scorpion. And we're not going to switch to GPS, but we will always have the possibility if we have a doubt about GPS to cut off the GPS and continue the mission and have our tracking being autonomous. Great, I'm going to leave. So here, as one showed you earlier, the exit of the 12.7 cannon. Just next to the cannon, it's to put me associated with the cannon. But that means that uh, after it will be the 12 point suite at what place? So there will always be a suite is at the level of the turret but one will have an additional one on the turret that will be on the on the top quite there is not did not have smoke launchers yes so we have what we call gallic ammunition here we have depots there you go a uh, hygiene there that makes 360 so one have them on each side so inside it's going to be protections with smoke grenades that will make a smoke screen 150 meters around me 360 Afterwards, depending on the missions, one can also have different, different ammunitions. We can, we can evolve on really self-defense ammunitions or crowd control ammunitions with tear gas output in... Rubber, that's it. We finish, we see the thermal outputs here, absolutely. These engines, you have here the exhaust pipe, so it's going to be the big thing. Yes, absolutely. So here, one have the whole engine plate and the exhaust output is done here. Where is it? What if you only have the air conditioning inside? Yes, we have air conditioning, which is separate. It's not necessarily for the crew. It's mainly for the onboard computers to cool down, to maintain the correct level of operation. Excellent. Well, Lieutenant, thank you very much. It's great. Interesting friends. We hope you liked it. Long live. The A. Charles Leclerc, Ruxelles, it's coming. When normally in two, three years, we should have it in regiment. It will start to deploy for the six sleeves and that completely renovated and then the 12th cuirassia. Congratulations. Thank you. See you soon. With pleasure, friends. We hope you liked it. Stay tuned for new videos. This was at Satori next to Versailles. On the next site, it's a great demonstration. One also refer you to the previous videos. Uh, thanks again to Conflict of Nations, the game where you build an army, forge alliances and aim to conquer the world. It's played in real time against other human players. So you can download this application with a great promo by clicking on the link that is in the description of this video.